Well, now to the battle inside Ukraine and what the country's military intelligence chiefs believes is Russia's new goal. The general says Putin is considering, quote, a Korean scenario, meaning splitting the nation in two. But the fighting still rages on. CBS's Holly Williams got a firsthand look at the dangerous situation on the battlefield. Ukraine's military claims it liberated the town of Makariv from Russian forces last week, about 30 miles west of the capital, Kiev. It looks as though this, this area is still getting shelled by the Russians. But as we approached its outskirts this morning, with a convoy of Ukrainian troops, they told us to get out and take cover because the Russians were watching from the sky. So the Ukrainians are saying that there is a drone overhead and they want us to spread out to be less of a target. Back to the cars. Back to the cars. We turned back, travelling at high speed. The Ukrainians now saying four Russian drones were overhead. But then they ordered us out again. Get out of the cars. And into the forest to take cover. We're hearing shelling. There's one just now. Many of Makariv's residents were evacuated earlier this month. Everything was shaking like this, said this woman. The planes were flying so low we thought they'd shoot our house. But not everyone made it to safety. This security camera video reportedly shows an elderly couple killed by Russian artillery. To the cars. Cars, let's go. We eventually left Makariv today. But if this is what liberation looks like... We go full speed, full speed, do you copy? Ukraine's fight for freedom will be long and dangerous. The Ukrainians are clawing back territory, but the Russians have shown over and over during this war that when they can't control cities, they'll still pummel them with missiles, airstrikes and shelling at the cost of civilian lives. Nora. And Holly, I want to ask you about those Russian drones. What are they using them for? How dangerous are they? Well, Nora, we assume that they're using them for reconnaissance, that is to identify targets. And the fear today was that if they spotted us, we could become a target. Holly Williams, thank you.